What's up guys, King of the North here from Northern Gaming, bringing you a first impression for Hunting Simulator 2. We were gifted a key by the developer and wanted to put out a video to show off the beautiful environment in this game and uh, give a taste of the experience that this game has to offer. In this, we will be reviewing Hunter Mode. Uh, this is the base version of the game. This launches March 23rd along with the DLC Ranger Mode, which you'll be able to play uh, through a Ranger's Life Story Mode. Uh, as you can see here on the right-hand side, I have played a little bit so far. I wanted to get a, an understanding of how like the mechanics worked and you know what was going on, so I could give a little bit more information as we progress through this. So starting off here, we're in our lodge, and we have a our faithful companion with us here. Uh, mine is Teddy. Uh, named after my own my own pup. So, as you see around the lodge here, there's various plaques on the walls. You'll be able to hunt and create trophies. And mount them on the walls. Uh, I haven't hung anything yet. I've been selling everything to try and get money to uh, load up on different things. I think that's probably the best thing to do first, and then, you know, you collect afterwards. That's just my personal preference, though. So. But with the money you gather, you'll want to come to the laptop here and visit the store. First, you'll want to buy a license. You need a license to be able to hunt animals in their respective regions, Colorado, Texas, and Europe. We're going to be sticking with the first zone in Colorado for this first impression. But I chose to buy everything for that area, so I wasn't limited to what I, come ac what I came across. I didn't want to be out there trying to hunt, you know, a grizzly bear and a black bear shows up and I can't shoot the black bear because I don't have a license. But uh, they do have the recommended calibers for each animal, and which is important for the next part, your weapon. You could choose from rifles, shotguns, uh, sporting rifles, and bows and crossbows. Uh, what's important about these, I mean, obviously this is the main focus of the game is, you know, your tool for hunting. But each weapon has different caliber bullets, which is important for the animal you are hunting. Your optics are your scopes. That'll be on your rifles. I have one of these purchased. You can also purchase various items like binoculars, wind powders, collars, scent killers, and scent lures. Uh, for this first impression, we'll be using the binoculars, a collar, and I'm going to hold off on scents for now. The wind uh, is just for to see which direction the wind's blowing. I guess that kind of controls your scent. You can purchase different clothings. Uh, the other, other important thing here is, where is it at? Clothing. Uh, backpacks. You'll want to probably equip something that's going to give you more room to carry more items and weapons. This way you'll be able to cover a, a, a larger scale of what you can hunt uh, based on the caliber of weapon or uh, ammunition that's required. You can also buy uh, more companions. I'm not sure if there, this is just a preference thing or if some of these are better at different um, tracking. So that's what the laptop has to offer just to go over a couple more things here in the lodge before we head out along with your trophies you'll also have a room that stages all of your guns and items that you purchase this is like another little trophy room as you unlock things everything will be added to this room and one really important thing to cover is your bedroom with the bed, you're able to pick a time slot. Now, this obviously uh, controls the environment, so when we go out, it'll either be morning, afternoon, evening. Obviously, it's harder to hunt in the evening because it's a little bit darker. Morning is actually a little tough, too, because of the way the sun uh, hits you in the eye sometimes. Uh, afternoon, obviously, everything's pretty visible, which means you're also more visible. But what's really important about this is different animals will spawn at different points during the day, from my experience. That's a dresser for you to change your clothing. But we'll head on out. Go to Roosevelt Forest.
Now, I, if, if you're not familiar with hunting, uh, I, I don't hunt, but I have done plenty of fishing in uh, my time. And, you know, it's not something you just walk out into and bam, everything's there for you. You know, it, you do have to have a little bit of patience. Uh, you, you gotta, you gotta work with what's given to you. So I have the binoculars out here just to kind of like look around. Obviously, you can use you can you can use your scopes, but the binoculars are going to offer you a lot more vision, as you can see right here. There are two spots so far in this map that I do enjoy. Uh, kind of like camping at and seeing what's around. I'll pull it up here on the map. Down here, end of the river, little lake, down in this area is a pretty decent spot. A lot of wildlife activity here. Also, down here in this corner of the map where you see this little tent, there's a fast travel location that I unlocked. Uh, in this area, there's there, there, there can be bears. <clears throat> so we're going to check my first spot and then we'll fast travel to that and see if we have any luck um for now i am going to equip the moose collar i do have this purchased so the moose collar allows us to uh in a way communicate with some animals with the moose collar moose will respond back to this and a little marker will pop up on the screen kind of giving you an idea of the direction that the animal is calling back from there's nothing really around here and that's not surprising to me like i said uh this area down here uh, i expect to hear a little bit of something That lake is actually very good for hunting birds as well. There's a few different kinds of duck that are in there. Okay, and then uh, our, compa <clears throat> our companion does do, uh, does find things on our trip. And that's why he or she is here with us. Uh, footprints, but they're old. So anything that's usually old, I tend to ignore. But every time your companion finds something, you do want to praise Such it. A good dog. It's a good boy, why not? We'll head on down here. And your your dog has like its own like level uh as well. Expertise, uh drive and stamina. So it, it does pay to reward your pup for helping you out. We're getting close to the spot here that I enjoy working with. As you can see, the, the environment is incredible in this game. Okay, so we do have a little bit of action here. I, you know, was running around, so I kind of alerted everything. Okay. No moose. Yet. Uh, there, there, there can be... Actually, we're not even really at the spot yet. You see uh, the little markers over there. All kind of birds. The other one is the our dog. That, that's a fox. Okay, he found something. I'm going to let him sit there for now. If I can kind of creep up on one of these fox. I do have two weapons on me. All right, that's a cougar over there. I don't know if we can see anything just yet. I have the wrong caliber weapon, though. No. Switch to the other gun. I do have two guns on me. Uh, one with a, a, a much larger size caliber on it. More for hunting bears. Just because I, I feel like they have a good payout. That's what I was doing earlier to buy some gear for this. So predator call will uh, help summon larger animals that would normally hunt smaller. That would hunt smaller animals. This works well for bears. I believe it should trigger foxes.
No luck there. I'm not sure that this fox were probably heading off in the opposite direction of us. But they're a little bit out of range now. But I do want to show this. All right, there, there's our fox. 70 meters. Let's see. Let's see if we can get close enough to it. If we can, I'd like to be able to show it off at least. I am crouched. I don't want to move too fast and... Oh, actually, I actually wasn't... Oh, there's the fox. Don't hear anything else given. Notice any calls back. So he probably sees the fox trail here. Or their droppings. Moist and soft. It's relatively recent then, as we know. And we can send him to track. But uh for now, I, I'm not gonna go on like a real long trek trying to find something. I feel like these foxes are just trying to bait me out here. Turkey. Let's head back towards this area. I've seen deer and moose in this area. It's kind of why I'm, I'm uh, pushing for it a little bit. I did see a bear one time, I think. Up keeps finding something. I know I'm ignoring him, but I'm hoping to just kind of pick something up real quick. Turkey over there. Also a nice feature that this offers. I'm using, obviously I'm using a controller with the PS5 and each step you take, there's like a slight rumble with the foot that you're stepping with on the respective sides of the controller. So we're surrounded by turkeys. I don't know if I have a small enough bolt to really hunt one of these. Alright, so they're just over the hill. Let's see if we can at least get a visual... I'm probably going to start heading over to my second spot to see if I can find anything from the height advantage that that one offers. Go for a little bit more big game hunting over there. somewhere. Down there. One that's got to be a little bit closer, though. We just... We did just have a marker pop up. Unless this thing... That is the one. Alright, there it is. I totally just whiffed on that. Totally just whiffed on it. I think I have the wrong caliber anyway, but that's the turkey. Let's just 
wander around this area just a little bit more. There's almost always turkeys over here, so if, if you are looking for turkeys, this is a good spot to start. I'm telling you, I usually have luck with a little bit larger of an animal over here. Usually there's a deer, a moose. I think I had, like, the, the rams before, but they were female. I couldn't hunt them. And the, there was a bear one at one point. Probably all just turkey stuff, or what do you got? Oh, white-tailed deer. Uh, let's see if we can send him. Follow that trail. Track this. Up. Oh, there's actually a whole trail here. All right, the bris all right. These are fresh tra uh, trails for a grizzly bear, actually. So as you see, the trail does light up for the grizzly bear that we after you know after you analyze it that's a good dog yeah those burned off somewhere oh boy these are uh Small tracks. These are deer. Again, what did he find? Vegetation. So something was just recently eating here is what that's hinting at. Where's that bear trail at? Kind of went and got mixed in on me. The turkey. Marks. Uh, where's the deer? Again, everything kind of just ran into this area. Let's see. Uh, this is the yeah, that's the big horn. All right, so that's that's what I was saying. The rams. Uh, everything that I've encountered with those here, it's always been the female version, and you can't hunt the female. So here's the bear trails. We're gonna have to watch this a little bit closer. You no, know, I'm like looking directly down in the grass, but it does get a little bit difficult to. S see where it leads when we're going through uh, some taller debris here. Okay. We're going to need the other gun for this bear as well. That's the big horn. Looks like these are going the opposite direction now. This thing turned around, maybe? Oh. Okay, it went to the bathroom here. Let's go. And then turned around. And walked off this way. Did a little dance here. This is just going back to where. And bear threw us off. So he did a spin here. I have no idea where this trail leads, to be honest with you. I will use the predator call real quick. Oh, never mind. We got we got deer here. Alright, let's let's give these deer attempt. If this fails, I am going to head to the second camp that I have. You got to see the tracking. Usually it's not that bad with uh, them spinning in circles and stuff, so. More like a straight shot. Oh. Don't run too much, but I don't want them getting like too far away either. A lot of trees, which makes it difficult for us to see, but it also... Um, disguises us a little bit. And you should always take your shot when you know that you're lined up. The turkey, I was just kind of messing around with. These deer, I do want to kind of 
make sure I got something on it. Oh, it's a female. Probably shouldn't shoot that on camera. That would be kind of cruel, even though it's just a game. Uh, but hopefully... I was right in the butt. All right, we got him. We got him. And I got another 10 over here I can uh, check out real quick. So, if you're using a smaller caliber, caliber rifle, you might shoot them and have to chase them down a little bit. Uh, this is looks like a big boy here. Sure. Okay. Uh, we'll bag it. The animal goes back to the cabin that we started out at. Uh, this campsite now is a fast travel point, which I'm very happy to see. So you see the license just updated. Okay. So this is blood. If if the animal did not die right away, you'd have to follow a blood trail and possibly shoot it again or wait till it bleeds out. Good dog. You did really Give him a thumbs up for his drive increase. I do want to check out the second area real quick. If I could find a bear over there, that'd be kind of cool. If not, we'll head back to the uh, cabin, check out the animal that we bagged and probably turn that into a trophy just to have something back at the lodge but in my opinion this is a really cool spot to be in on this part of the map i i have seen quite a few bears over here i've not always been able to uh bring them down because you do have a really high height here but everything is pretty far away but this is where the binoculars are going to come in handy can really see on the farther sides of the map here. Usually up on the land here, you might catch something walking around. seen anything and sometimes when you when you fast travel from one spot to another spot you're, you're able to kind of reset the environment which uh, isn't a bad idea if you're just trying to bring in some some quick money to unlock some more uh, guns or if you used up all your scents or wind sprays so not seeing anything marching around here we can go over on this side. Usually we just pull out the rifle for this, though. Um, because there is, like, a little bit of a valley here. If you do catch an animal walking here, you've got a good opportunity on them because you got a very clear path here. And you have a height advantage where you're able to look down on them for a while. They're not going to get over, like, a hill for too quick on you. But not seeing anything here either. But this, this is a good spot for bears. I said I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go too crazy with trying to find something here because we did manage to bag an animal. Alright, not seeing anything. So let's head back to the cabin here. Check out our our prize for the day. Oh, I should also talk about, uh, it, when you first hop in here, you can change your loadout, so everything you bought, you can change from this area here. Actually, you're going to want to come in here and equip everything the first time. I uh, should have covered that first, but I completely forgot about it, but at this point, I have this loadout, I'm happy with it. I haven't really had a reason to come in here, but when you get to the cabin, you go to claim your animals. Uh, obviously, this is a, a pretty decent sized animal, so you can choose to sell with X. Uh, we'll get 550 credits for it. I actually want to try and keep this one as a trophy. 
let's return back to the lodge and see where it's set up at. Oh, there it is on the wall. Big boy. That's all the info from it. Ages nine years. But there you have it, guys. That's going to conclude this first impression. I do enjoy this. This is a very nice, chill, relaxing kind of game. You're just like getting off work. Just want to relax a little bit. It's it's very calming and peaceful out in the the woods when you're hunting. Uh, I do want to give this four and a half out of five stars. Uh, the only reason I won't give it a full five is I was hunting a bear before I had started the recordings. And uh, the bear saw me and ran in the other direction. And, you know, for, for a real life sim, I feel like, you know, uh, if that was a real life situation, that bear would have come after me and probably ended me but you know it, it, it's it around it, it's a great game it's fun tracking I love having a little companion like that's the coolest thing ever but uh yeah guys um feel free to drop a comment tell me what you think of hunting simulator tell me what you've managed to uh, hunt down so far and as I said this launches March 23rd along with the Ranger DLC. Now, guys, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and say hello to your pup for me. Peace.